Investigation has revealed that the Home Office has been offering staff trigger support if they read about slavery, as it could remind them of past traumas and give them flashbacks. Yes, staff are being offered mandatory training on inclusion and belonging, stating civil servants may be triggered by references to topics such as racism and slavery, abuse and violence. Well, I'm very pleased to be joined now by the man behind this exclusive expose for us. It is GB News's new US correspondent, although this is, of course, a domestic story. It's Stephen Edgerton. Stephen, thank you very, very much. Please, can you just tell us all about this? Because I thought April Fool's Day was earlier in the week. Well, what this is, is the Home Office are offering staff basically a support line and, and help if they get triggered by references, whether that's video, audio, or written text, uh, in terms of slavery and racism and abuse. And what they say is that this could trigger uh, past traumas and flashbacks, and that could make them very upset. And therefore, we've offered them these support lines, these kind of employee helplines, which are available 24-7, 365 days a year. Now, I don't know about you, Patrick, but Maybe I also have some past traumas, some flashbacks to the Barbary Pirates as a white man in England who obviously enslaved many British people. Um, I'm just joking, but I think this is completely ridiculous. Obviously, it's another example of where the Home Office are taking this very woke, odd line of... It's basically this HR culture where they're trying to kind of mollycoddle their staff. And instead of viewing their role as protecting British citizens or controlling our borders, the most important priority for the Home Office is protecting the feelings of their staff. And I can just say very quickly, mm. this full story is available for GB News members exclusively. And you can go to our website, gbnews.com slash membership to read the full story. And there's just so much in there that's going mm. on. And this is all to do with mandatory training, diversity training, yet again. For but, home office but who is behind all of this stuff, Stephen? Because you've done numerous different exposés and perhaps you might be able to give us some of the examples as well of some other previous you know, ridiculous incidents that you've managed to expose within the Home Office and potentially other sectors of government. And let's remind ourselves, it comes on the day as well that some civil servants are threatening to go on strike over arms to Israel. I mean, we have a, an activist core in our civil service, do we not, at best? I mean, uh, uh, also just an incredibly woke one, uh, uh, at the, the very least, I think. I think that this stuff is actually endorsed by ministers. I wouldn't blame civil servants entirely. The Conservative Party have, of course, been in charge for the last 14 years, so they've had every opportunity to shut down these stories that I keep reporting on. To give you a few other examples of stuff that I found out specifically in your home office before, uh, Border Force officers are allowed to wear LGBT pride epaulets on their uniforms. Staff in Home Office HQ in Marsham Street are given some staff, they, what they call non-binary staff, are given both male and female security passes so that they can change their gender every single day or daily if they want to. And even a part of this story, another part of this story that we reported today for GB News, is some of the events that the Home Office are advertising for their staff internally. And let me read some of these events because it's quite an interesting list. Queer chat and craft. Where are all the lesbians? Les Baidu. For les and that's a social event for lesbian and bisexual women. Queer book club, lesbian speed dating, gay girls social Sunday meetup, and LGBT learning disability group. So those are all external events. But listen to this, Patrick. There are also internal events for staff, which were all held during work office hours uh, in the last two months. And these are the Civil Service LGBT Plus Network Manchester History Walk, coming out at work, mental health impact, LGBT Liverpool coffee morning and the end of history month quiz for LGBT staff in the civil service. So yet again, I think it's coming back to that issue of civil servants are pushing this stuff. Of course, ministers could end this stuff immediately tomorrow if they wanted to. And again, these civil servants are in charge of our borders. They're in charge of illegal migration, yeah. legal migration and keeping us safe. Yeah, but it's remarkable, isn't it? These are the people in charge of enforcing our borders. It's mad, OK? It is mad. And we paying for all this stuff, Stephen. Absolutely, we're paying for it. And I think if any okay. GB News viewer is watching at home and wondering why the Home Office is so dysfunctional, the answer is 
the civil servants themselves are frankly obsessed with again navel gazing their own internal welfare mm. their mental health and so on and, and, and launching all of these different events and also as i say keep saying ministers are responsible for this stuff they have the power to make sure that civil servants focus on their day roles deliver for the public but they're not doing that and unfortunately i mean to give you a great example of a civil servant who works at the home office he's the most senior civil servant in the home office sir matthew rycroft mm. he is the civil service race faith and belief champion he spends his time in the last few months in meetings talking about transgender issues with civil servants now i don't know whether he the man responsible for britain's borders should be doing that why is he wasting a moment of his time yeah. talking about completely irrelevant topics he's put his deputy in the department in charge of immigration he's basically abdicating responsibility for the most important issue facing the country so it's no wonder that i think that department is completely dysfunctional and people will remember a friend of the show, Matthew Rycroft, because he uh, was the one who couldn't answer very basic questions about deportation and borders. Look, Stephen, thank you very, very much. You're doing absolutely stellar stuff for us. I know that you're going to keep uncovering this stuff and you're going to bring back some massive scoops from Washington for us as well. In case you missed that exclusive at the start, that is that apparently Home Office staff are being offered a 24-7, 365 days a year helpline if they are triggered by things like references to slavery in case that unearths some historic trauma within themselves. I have a statement from the Home Office now. It says, we keep our diversity and inclusion policies and programmes under constant review to ensure they meet the needs and priorities of the departments and our people. We make no apology for ensuring staff who deal with challenging topics are fully supported. Now, Stephen Edgington's GB News investigation is exclusively available for GB News members. You can see it at gbnews.com forward slash membership.